Yeah, I'm going to uh, um, come to that point. But <clears throat> then, after you elected as the second president of the Timor Leste, the first country that you visited is Indonesia. Why? Why Indonesia? Well, uh, I was a uh, foreign, foreign minister in 2001, 2002. Uh, I told uh, Mr. Shanano, our uh, first um, big national uh, leader, he is a, a towering personality, you know, uh, super charismatic. And uh, I told him, uh, let's uh, make it as a habit, a tradition, a rule, that the first visit uh, after uh, election? election is to Indonesia. Is it uh, uh, Second, uh, President Australia. Jokowi's invitation, or that's the, in your intention? Right. So, uh, we made a decision, and then we communicated to, uh, through diplomatic channels, and uh, of course, immediately, so when uh, Mr. Shannon was uh, sworn in in May 2002, first or second week of June, I accompanied him to Jakarta. I was foreign minister. And so that became a tradition. Mm -hmm. Second country is Australia. And then all the others, uh, whenever the, uh, our uh, common uh, agenda permit, Singapore, Malaysia, mm. others, ASEAN countries, China, Korea, Japan, then Europe, Portugal also a, yeah. an absolute but, priority. But you, you perceive Indonesia as the first priority. Yes. Yeah. Well, well it makes sense. It's our neighbor. You just cross the uh, uh, border, and we are in Indonesia. Uh, uh, hundreds of years of uh, uh, connection through geography, but uh, separated by uh, the colonial history. Uh, colonial history which shaped Timor less to be what it is, shaped Indonesia which, you know, what Indonesia is mm -hmm. today. Uh, so, uh, but uh, geography and the culture and uh, because wars uh, do not leave only ugly legacies, they also leave human experiences, mm -hmm. they also leave a language, uh, uh, habits, you know, uh, in uh, only 24 years, 24 years of Indonesian presence, so much Indonesian cultural influence in Timor Leste. Usually, an European uh, power that need to be there for 100 years to leave uh, lasting cultural influence. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to ask you because you mentioned in front of President Jokowi the last time you visited Jakarta was uh, 1974, if I'm not mistaken. The first time. The first time. That was the first time. But then I, I, I believe that you visit Jakarta for more times, right? Oh, after independence, maybe 50 times. Yeah. So um, can I, you know, like um, <coughs> tell us, what is the most fascinating progress that you see in Indonesia? Well, uh, if I go back to 74, uh, in this uh, distance of time of almost 50 years, uh, uh, of course, the comparison is day and night, okay, but I don't need to go that far. Uh, even in just the last 20 years, uh, since, um, uh, two th uh, since 99, and, uh, uh, the change of regime, Indonesia has made tremendous progress mm -hmm. from dictatorship. Uh, during the, you, you mean during the new order? The new order, the, uh, the, the new Suharto order, Order Baru, no? to become a dynamic democracy and uh, remain absolutely uh, tolerant. It's a majority Muslim, uh, the largest in the world, but a very embracing of uh, other religions that they live in this uh, archipelago.